We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Andrew and I'm here with Rob H. Neil. Neil says that listening to AV Rant got him back in, uh, into the home theater scene after not even having a receiver since college. Wow. I think it's odd that somebody would listen to this podcast without being into the AV, without being into the uh, the home theater scene. So that's great. I'm glad. I love it. Uh, so he thanks us for that. Uh, I bet your wallet. You're doesn't. very welcome. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> but I bet your wallet and or significant other does not think this is the best thing that ever happened to him. Anyways, his living room is 22 feet wide and 12 feet long with 10 foot ceiling. But as always, it's open to the foyer, kitchen, stairs, leading to the rest of the house. So it's about a million cubic feet. He's currently using a single power sound audio. Uh, 15s. That's a 15 inch driver in a sealed box, is what I'm. That's correct. What I'm guessing. Yes. And even though it's sealed, he feels it's doing an admirable job of producing bass, even tactile bass, at his primary listening position. But if he moves in any direction, it definitely sounds uneven. And the that loudest peak in the us. house ends up being upstairs, right outside the baby's room. Ah, yeah. uh, that baby's gonna grow up special. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Daddy, I've got a car with fifteen subwoofers in it. I don't know why I like bass so much. Thump thump thump. I don't know, son. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so he would like to add a second subwoofer to try to even out his response. His placement options are limited. The power sound audio sub has to stay where it is on the front wall uh, to the right of his TV. The second sub would have to go to the left of his couch. They'd be diagonally opposite one another within the living space. But, of course, the whole space is open to the rest of the house. So he asks, is this still worthwhile? Yes. It's not not worthwhile. I'll put it to you that way. Uh, I don't know if it's going to make the base any better next to your baby's room. I can't promise that that's yeah. going to make any difference because this, what you've got there basically, and this happens at my friend's house too, the base in his bathroom is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good in there. That's like, the I love, point, yeah. know, I love it when, you know, you're like walking to the bathroom and they, like, the, you know, they're watching Indiana Jones or something in the other room and, it's like, and then you're in the bathroom going, <laughs> oh, wow, that's amazing. They have mirrors like flexing in there. Um, I don't know because basically you just got this big old base sink, which is that hallway, and it's yeah. just it's just going down there, getting lost and reverberating and adding and adding and adding. I don't know that you're gonna be able to do much about that. <laughs> Things might change a little bit, but it'll probably still be a pretty resonant place over yeah. there. Yeah. So will this help uh, in your room? Uh, probably. You know, it kind of really depends on the you know the placement and how well it works with everything else we don't have i don't see a layout here anywhere so there's no 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 no. so so we don't know i mean since since you basically like these are the only two places you can put the subs and that's okay um you're gonna have to do the trial and error thing of adjusting a fully variable phase knob on one of those two subs and i'm pretty darn sure that power sound audio already comes with a fully variable phase knob. yeah, yeah so the, the process here is, since you don't have placement options, you put the subs where you can, you're going to level match them. That you can definitely still do. Right. And then you have to, one by one, you, you play a base sweep on repeat. It's on repeat, just sweeping over and over and over and over again. And you have to sit in all the various places in your living room where you might want to sit and where you want the base to be nice and even and as accurate as you can get it and as uniform from seat to seat to seat. You have to keep moving around while the base sweep keeps playing and hopefully someone else can very gradually, little by little, a notch at a time, change the phase knob on the back of one of those subs. And you'll yeah. hear that it changes how uniform it is from seat to seat to seat. It's a long, slow trial and error process, but that's really the way that you tackle it because you can't optimally place two subs. And that's okay. That's what you have to do, but at least there's a way to do it. It just takes a while. Yeah. I mean, you could also... I mean, I, we always say this, that you don't have to have matching subs, so... I mean, you could order, because I don't think Power Sound Audio has two, like, you know, reverse two way shipping. Uh, no, it's not two way shipping. They have free yeah. shipping to you, but it's, so, I don't think it's. Uh, not, let me check on that while we're you talking. You check here. on that. Yeah. So you could get a comparable sub from somebody who does. Right. And that way, if you, you go through this and you're like, you know what? It's just, it's either too much hassle for me to do what I'm doing or. 
I don't think it's making that much of a difference. I think you should give yourself the option of just saying of just bowing out and getting your money back. I don't that's what I would do. I would not take the chance that I'm going to have this second sub in this room and it not be something that I like or that I'm happy I spent the money on. Mm. There are options out there. I mean, you know, SVS has two-way shipping uh back and forth. Uh who else does? Does anybody else do HSU? No, nope, not one not way. both directions. Um not for subs. <laughs> I it might be SVS. Uh, let me see. So they got their 60-day trial period over at Power Sound Audio, but uh sorry, just keep on going. <laughs> I'll figure this out. All right. That's so, anyways, uh, that's what I that's what I say. But anyways, uh, if he can't get away with spending less on the second subwoofer, I don't know. Did he ask if he could spend less? So he asked. He wants to know if he can spend less. <laughs> uh, but he would like to get away uh, with get with spending spending less. Uh, so the SVS uh, SB12 NSD shows up for under four hundred bucks. If you're willing to spend the thousand dollars for a second fifteen uh, S or something very similar, if that's the only real solution, if he wants to check if the lower output, less expensive sub can give him the benefits of more uniform bass. Um, up to the limits of the lesser sub. Yeah, they basically, <laughs> basically, you've yeah. already got a sub that's probably that's probably working pretty hard in this room. I mean, you know this by how loud you or how high you have to turn, turn the volume yeah. knob on. And the 15s can definitely play louder than the SB12 NSD. That's for yeah, sure. yeah. It's a sealed box, dude. You know what? You, if you're gonna do that, this first one's next to his TV, right? Is that to the yeah. right of his TV? Yeah. If you're going to do that, I think you should go with the cylinder up front and then move this one next to your couch. Move the one you have, the 15S, next to your couch. So oh, really? You, I, I mean, was thinking the opposite just because the one that's closer to your couch, uh, when you level match them, will probably not be turned up as high. Yeah, but the closer to cylinder you. is ported, and it's going to have... Uh, you know, Cylinder? Where'd get, cylinder come from? I'm just saying, I think you should go for a cylinder Oh, up go front. for a cylinder. I yes, understand. and this his current sealed box next to him. Oh, Therefore, okay. he gets the, uh, the additional output. And you don't have to sit next to a water cooler, water mm. water heater. Uh, you know, to me, I I don't think the sealed box from SVS, unless I mean, even the ultras are. I mean, I guess you could go. Oh with well, the, the thirteen ultras. the thirteen ultra is getting comparable to this. Yeah, uh, I don't think any of the sealed box ones from SVS is gonna do you right, and it's really gonna hamper that overall experience that you're having you're going to have to really push that svs and i think you'll probably have to that you'll end up on the back end having to tone down the the uh 15 s mm. a little bit not yeah, only that the, um... i mean at some point the svs is going to drop off and i don't know what the comp i don't know what the frequency response is of the 15 s but i imagine it's pretty i mean it's power sound audio man they don't play yeah. over there no, that the SB12 NSD, I mean, it's it's certainly not the sub I would point you to no. for this room size. And having two of them doesn't significantly increase its output. You get about 3 dB more. It's not nothing, but it's not nearly as much as you might think. So an SB12 NSD, I'm, I'm hesitant to recommend that. Like you're saying, will you get the benefits of two subs? Yes, up to the limits of the SB12 NSD. Then it either refuses to play any louder or lower or it starts distorting really badly um it shouldn't really do that but you know this is the older um it's the nsd sub right yeah. this is preceding the uh the 2000, 2000 series. series this doesn't have the sledge amp in it necessarily uh yeah. this might be still using the old bash amps so it's like they, they got their limits svs was always good about protecting their subs but that thing could start distorting i'm a little leery of of really recommending that uh, yeah. i did look it up um power sound audio says they return your full purchase price minus return shipping so it's yeah. not free two-way shipping so um yeah i'm <sighs> I can't wholeheartedly recommend the SP12 NSD. It will work fine up to its limits, but I think you very well might exceed its limits in this room size. I agree. Uh, I, I I think you have to go with a, if you're going to go with SVS, you're going to have to go for you know the Ultra series if you want a sealed box or the mm -hmm. 2000 series if you can get something ported. And the cylinder for me makes a lot more sense. But even the you're really going to be pushing that 2000 series. I mean, oh yeah, it, you're going to be pushing it. I, this is yeah. an awful. But I mean, at least space. at least that one will just politely refuse to play any louder if it yes. reaches its limit. So, I hope that I hope that answers the question. It might not be the answer we're looking for, but we we don't we don't like to say go for it and then have you be disappointed. So. That's right. Once your question answered, send it to question 
at avrant.com. Is A.V. Rant. Now go out and listen to something.